the Arsenal midfield summer transfer dilemma, Martin Zubimendi, Bruno Guimaraes, Douglas Luiz. The Gunners could be busy in the transfer market this summer, especially in midfield. The upcoming weeks will be massive for Arsenal. The Gunners season seemed to be derailing with defeats to Aston Villa and Bayern Munich, but consecutive wins against Wolves and Chelsea ensured that their final four games of the season, against Tottenham, Bournemouth, Manchester United, and Everton, will carry considerable weight. Regardless of whether they win the Premier League for the first time in 20 years in the coming weeks, this summer will undoubtedly be even bigger. There are so many things Arsenal will need to do to keep up with Manchester City in the coming years. The club's decision-makers have recognised the need for a forward capable of converting the considerable chances they create in every game into goals. There are other deals that may also be necessary this summer. A replacement for Aaron Ramsdale will be needed if the English goalkeeper moves on, for example. There is a strong argument suggesting that there is no more critical area than midfield. This is an area of the field where Arsenal is looking to the future. Thomas Partey once again proved unreliable in terms of injuries this season and is on the wrong side of 30. It wouldn't be a surprise to see Arsenal actively trying to sell him, as they did last summer. Meanwhile, Mohamed Elneny is also set to leave when his contract expires, and Albert Sambi Lokanga doesn't seem to have a future at the club despite an impressive loan spell at Luton. The Gunners are looking to offer a contract extension to Giorgino, but they are aware that a long-term solution will be needed regarding competition for Declan Rice. Names like Douglas Luiz and Bruno Guimaraes have been considered. The Brazilian duo has big admirers in the Arsenal hierarchy, but it's believed that the Gunners are looking more intensely at other targets at this time. Martin Zubimendi is a player on that list. In the past, the player has shown reluctance to leave Real Sociedad, even though his boyhood club was willing to sell. With Sociedad battling to qualify for the Europa League this season, it remains to be seen if he can be tempted. Further ahead, an important decision looms in Emil Smith-Rowe's future. The 23-year-old has performed well when given opportunities for most of the season, but those have been few and far between. He has started in just three Premier League games this season, and with only two years left on his contract, he will surely have a long list of admirers. Before we move forward if you are a Gunners leave your like this will help you to be closer to all the news from Arsenal Football Club thank you. Arsenal has finally found the perfect alternative for Bukayo Saka, but Edu faces a new £34 million transfer puzzle. For almost two years, Arsenal has been waiting for Fabio Vieira to showcase his quality after his long-awaited return to fitness, while Mikel Arteta drops hints about his future role. Martin Odegaard is simply a world-class footballer, and his performance as the standout player against Chelsea was yet another example of the Norwegian's brilliance. Two gloriously quality assists for Kai Havertz and Benjamin White, among a host of other great passes, touches, and movements, made him shine on a big night for the club. However, there's a glaring reality that could knock Mikel Arteta's team out of contention, potentially resurrecting Odegaard's past injury woes. Throughout the season, he's avoided most knocks and missed just three games due to a combination of concussion and a hip issue. Emil Smith-Rowe and Kai Havertz started in midfield in Arsenal's 5-0 win over Sheffield United. While Giorgino, Declan Rice, and Havertz formed the trio in the 1-0 loss to Newcastle, where Odegaard's absence was keenly felt, the same three started in the 3-1 home win against Burnley, before the skipper returned to start every league game thereafter. The issue this season has been the lack of depth in the attacking eight-right role, and this is primarily due to Fabio Vieira. The Portuguese midfielder was brought in to be a competitive midfield option after a £34 million transfer from FC Porto. However, an injury hindered his spell at the club, even arriving in the summer of 2022 with a foot problem that dampened his hopes of integration in preseason. This season, he has played just 11 times in the league, accumulating 291 minutes. He made a brief cameo against Chelsea, replacing Bukayo Saka, and in his limited stint, he impressed. He was agile and moved the ball well, almost scoring a brilliant shot with his weaker foot that hit the Chelsea left post. Interestingly, he wasn't among the midfielders Arteta wanted to reference after the game. Perhaps because he now sees him as an advanced option to replace Saka? Well, when they play against Declan, Kai, and Martin or play with Emil as well or Georgie for sure, he's played some important games, and we've won some important games with him too, it depends on the game and the state, the opponent as well, he said. It's great because everyone feels important too, that's something very, very important now. There's been a lot of talk around Vieira, his future, and what he can offer. He always threatens to unlock his potential, but obstacles seem to materialize at the worst times. A significant preseason awaits him as he approaches the most decisive season of his Arsenal career.
he could be the perfect complement to the midfield, just two years after being signed. What do you think of this news? Leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.